Hello, my lovely people. I greet you all. Umu Chineke, anywhere you are watching this video, I greet you according to your time zone. If it is your first time of coming across this platform, Linda's TV show, you are welcome. If you like what you are doing, like, subscribe to this page, and leave your comment constructively. I want to appreciate you too for creating this wonderful platform that we are using to disseminate information to the members of the public. At the same time, I put a disclaimer that here in Linda's TV show, we do not promote war, violent hate speech, or instigate war, but rather we are here to educate, inform the members of the public about what is happening. <laughs> understand Igbo. That's why I'm going to speak my broken English for everybody to understand. I, am talk I want to talk to the Nigerian Igbos, our politicians. Please, you need to be smart. Take Simon Epa serious. Take the IPOB serious. They mean it. In as much as we are breathing the air, take Biafra Liberation serious. I'm going to tell you why I say you should take them serious. You see, nobody, nobody, according to Simon Epa yesterday, when I listened to him, I listened to his voice with passion, with bitterness in his mind, with bitterness in his heart. Every Igbo man is what is a Biafra. We said it all the time. Not Peter will be a Biafra. Everybody is a Biafra. Everybody is bitter. Okay, let's forget about Biafra. Every Nigerian is bitter inside. But everybody is confused. How do you get back? Where? How did we get here? And how do we, how do we take the country back? listening to Simon Epa yesterday I went into meditation and I come here this morning to tell you that there is no way make soldiers not the deceiver now those of you who are one Nigeria those of those of you who are politicians in Southeast make one not allow the soldiers the deceiver I say wait my hair don't fool so I never cut my hair so let me put it like this I never bath so I never come back make one not allow Nigerian army the deceiver now there is no way in the world Nigerian army will win those people that are fighting against them, using guerrilla war against them. There's no way. There's no way. You see that Musa, those Oga of army, where they deceive Funa, those of Funa where they recruit army, where they give weapon, make Funa go bind people. Now for back, they go to put all of Funa one by one. Nobody say I like me, they put Funa for back. You see, you win, you lose. You can't win people with, that is fighting you with guerrilla war. Look when I go Google and I go and check. You can't win people where they use gorilla war against you. There's no way. If you take down 100 of them, 200 will come. <laughs> oh God, these people don't understand how it works. You can't stop it. You can't stop people from joining these people. You can't stop them from fighting. You can't stop them from liberation. If you take 100, I'm, tell, I'm talking to the Nigerian soldiers now. When you take 100 down, 200 will come. Everybody in Southeast Nigeria is bitter. Make one nothing say that only Igbo people there among the Biafran army that is created by Simon Epa. Not be only Igbo people there. there. <laughs> all these students, where we born, where we born, where we uncle born, where we sisters born, where we get job. That's where they're gonna go. Children, where we born ten years ago. As long as we still fight this. Biafran people, those who are children go soon join them. They are 10 years now, right? 10 years ago. Soon they will be 15. Because we will not give them job. Yeah. It's not going to stop. But there is a solution. I have a solution for you guys. That is why I'm here. Some of you will say, eh, don't worry. My children, okay, your children are abroad. You have house abroad, your children abroad, whatever, whatever. Anyhow, when Nigerian be. But what about your legacy when you are gone? Have you ever think about it? The Niger Africa, um, uh, Igbo politicians, or let me say Nigerian politicians generally, the way things are going in Nigeria, and nobody's happy. 
What is the solution? You people don't know the solution. Solution is not changing the president. Solution is not changing the governor. Nigeria is rotting. Everybody's rotting. Including me. Including me. Everybody that is in, is, is in Nigeria is rotting. We are all corrupt. How do you liberate the people? How do you bring back people to normal? That's why I'm here. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Now, when our children, when they carry go abroad, they go to school, say, eh, the house where you buy for America, the house where you buy for so so so, eh, even your children go there. But are your children going to be in exile forever? Remember that day where you go sleep, you know, go wake up as a politician, as a big man. Are they going to put any money in your grave? No. Think about that day, you are not going to be here. Your children that are, you want them to be in America forever. Think about it. A revolution may come that is going to. <laughs> I'll pass away. He passed the thing, give her one time. Make I leave that. Make I leave that. Smart, very fast. Now, fast, they're fast. I know, I know if you see how they take past the money and pass everything together. But let's move on with what I'll do. What you're doing. Please, Southeast governors, the solution is bringing everybody together. Let's sit down together. I said it all the time. Make one day smart. In a million years, you cannot stop the people with the fight for freedom. You see, the Yubo people go now, they go buy house for their place. Now then they produce the weapon. They won't sell their weapon. Now then still they sell the weapon give us. Make we take the pine ourselves. Make we not think and say, those people, not be said they just wake up one day and begin to want to destroy things and begin want to fight the government. No, not be like that now. They get sense. Look gonna show me anywhere. The people who are the pity now, the police and the army. Oh. When I want the police, are the pity now, I'm not gonna lie. And another thing where I want to talk before I move forward. You see, all those all those army women they see say that they 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 my Nigerian federal government hand there. They just want to show things, maybe they just can't show things, say ah, see what did IPOB do? They, they are not going into any investigation. Some people will be armed robbers to go take advantage. Say, ah, after all, IPOB, they fight. They go come, round una up, buy una, collect gun. Una go say na IPOB. Me, I don't believe so. Many of those police and army will not see so. Where then they put down. Nigerian government still there inside. They just want to play a propaganda to show the world. Say, see, these people are bad people. But though, if they do, now gorilla war you cannot win them they be like rats when you they sleep now the time when you they sleep now they go come if you think say rat go come around 12 o'clock when you they sleep you put your trap you know come if you don't come today tomorrow you go think say the rat no day around again <laughs> now the time when you go don't relax your mind you be una be human being now if you don't drink all that buruku to what they give you for army when a man go come sweet, say nothing they happen, that, that time they go strike una. Now the same army we put una there, now then they strike una. Me and the talk, I'm not the hide face. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Please. Look, we stop this. You know, go fit stop. 20 years, now go see, say. The happy will be mean, waiting they mean. So I may not mean what he mean. God can't do. I'm saying the country where he did, they, they, they come to where he did, they, they support him. They know what he did do. Say he did on his right because you have a right to fight for freedom. So they, they don't go create government in exile. Government in exile is recognized. Okay, okay. If nothing, say what Simon they do not bad thing. For now, eyes what they for Niger. With all the propaganda, where the Nigerian government they do play. They get government in exile in, in Finland. They get government in exile in all over the world. They even get up for America. American government, no, I mean, not be done give them paper. <laughs> God. You can't create anything abroad without a signing paper, without having a license. When I don't know. Oh God, when I don't even know. When I think, say, if you just open, I go just collect, I go just go, go collect shop now. Say, I, I, I want, Biafra, I, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. Government will come meet you, what's your license? Who gave you license? 
all of them who are the CISO for Japan, China, they get a license. It not be like Nigeria where you go just go say you go open uh, what office? What are you doing here? Oh, we are fighting for our our, our nation. We have our whatever. Okay, they check out. Okay, okay, okay. You have a right. They go give you license. You have your right. But not be like this. We go they do arm. Um. Indeed, I want to start from the Igbo governors, our elite in Southeast. Please. When I'm not saying I beg me, I they always beg as I they come. I they always beg when I say, put your ego down. That money when I think say go save when our children in the future, it may not. When you are gone, you never know what will happen after. Remember the time you're gonna close your eyes and never wake up again. Your children, you think they are safe in America, may not be safe. Your children, all the money you gather and keep, they, it, that money may not save them. There's nothing like home. As much as I hate when I reach, my children still dead there. Everybody don't pack their children come out, but make I tell you now what they fear me. How they self not too good now. We could I go check. Not be say the government no good itself. But the right way children get abroad, they too much. The king go they take Papa no fit talk. If the picking not if you are not careful, your picking go walk out now for street, your picking go sleep. All those children want to see for America, they smoke, they sleep for street. Not be safe food, no day where they go chop. Not be say walk, no day. Now, because of that fundamental right where they give them too much. Where I go carry picking go, where we say I'm not going to talk to my picking. My legacy is gone. Una know our Nigerian police say, you know what I'm saying. Many of Una children don't talk to don't don't turn to gayism, lesbianism, drug addicts. Many of Una children, you know what I'm saying. Those of Una, you know. know. You can't control your children anymore. They came back to Nigeria. Now for Abuja there, now them, they are all rotten. Some of our children there for a psychiatric hospitals at the top now. All those people, I'm, I'm being honest with you guys. Those our politicians who they see on TV every day. Some of them, their children is in psychiatric hospital right now. Because of abroad, where did they carry their children go? I look my picking finish like this. I, I get university admission for California. I look finished like this. I think ah, 18 years old boy. Make it come to go. Uh, I won't make it better for him. Chey. My excuse I use for them. I don't they do them, they go. They do. I say, ah, God. Number one, this picking. If he go there now, if he turn to brotherhood, because I know they're there now. You can't be 18 is enough to go abroad and school. They communicate with you, but they go lure that child into what is not. That time you go come know what to be fundamental right to hey papa, they, papa, not they talk to picking anyhow. Now that I go tell you, daddy, are you serious? What is wrong with you? If you don't forgive me money, if this, that, 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 that money where they give them for upkeeping, no go reach them. Because you go meet boys for school, what you say? They did. If you know if you control yourself, you go follow them, they smoke cigar from cigar, they go smoke to another thing. You have lost your child. You have lost your child. That's exactly what happened to our politicians. Not be only our politicians, so many of our people where they are brought, we know if we control their picking. Oh, Nigeria, when they try, sha. Nigerian people, they try. They, they discipline picking, even though they are brought, they, they discipline picking. Many of their children get sense. But we have lost a lot of them. Please. We know if you win this war in a, hundred, in a million years. You cannot win the IPOB. They mean it. You can't. There's no way. I don't think there's any way you can. Make no allow the soldiers to the deceive now. The soldiers are deceiving you. Oh, we are going to destroy them. They are going to do this. The small time they go bring some people, gather them. They are destroying your futures. The future, the people we suppose. Hey. I wonder how now they sleep. Oh. Have you ever people think that those people were soldiers, the innocent ones were soldiers, they catch? Go destroy them. Let me use that word. When I think they don't get family. The more way they do those things, the more way we go to vex. The more way people go to vex, the more way people go to join. The more way people go to carry G U N. You see, the solution is not picking the youths in Southeast. Those people are innocent. Those children are innocent. If you want to fight war, go and fight those soldiers, those people who carry weapons, they force inside forest, they fight in a gorilla war. I don't talk many times. Do it. If you guys have the liver, they are trained and ready to, to fight you.
if you can do that, praise the Lord. Stop dealing with innocent people in the city. Me, I go come. I'll give you an example. I can't fight soldier finish. I can't steal the worker for street. Come on, guys. Make one give one a sense now. I wonder how our politician they sleep. I wonder how our politician they see they sleep at night when they see all those things going around in Southeast. Please don't take too long to release Mazin Namdekano. Don't take too long to bring everybody to the table. Not you not destroy Nigeria. Nigeria don't destroy now. People wait there for front now. They don't destroy her. We now realize, say, as we they fight each other, so as we they go up and down, they grumble with economy and everything. Oh, you both people, did they excel? Did they take the advantage? We now know. Eh. So we now know, so you both people, they take advantage of us. Exactly what is happening in Nigeria now, or in Africa as a whole, they take advantage. Now she said, Chinese don't enter. They take advantage. Oh, there's no job. We are coming here to create a job and blah, blah, blah. Ask me, those that are working under the Chinese and Leban Lebanese, how much is their take, take home? How much is their salary? They are making millions, but those of them where they employ, labor, labor, say, what in labor they do? Say, Chinese people, where you say that they beat Nigerians for their country? <laughs> yeah, especially Chinese. They go beat you. They, some people go get injury. Some people, they, they, they don't get hand again. For the company where they, they follow Chinese work, machine don't chop up their hand. They go come carry 200. Some they know they give them money. They say, don't come here again. You go police station, there's nothing they can do for you. No lawyer will fight for you. Make when I go to watch break at the family see now, what's in the happen? Some people chemical don't blind their eye. They say, I work for one Chinese company. Uh, when they chemical, they say, make I go treat myself. They give me 100,000 naira. Can you do that in China? Can you do that in China? You know they protect you know, people. Now here, corruption there everywhere. Nigeria is finished. The only solution we are the top now. We say, make we sit down with the stakeholder. I am a stakeholder. Everybody is a stakeholder. Make we know they do like say now we be we are waiting for national assembly. We will not get mouth. Now make all the celebrities no fit come to social media and talk. They don't know that they are stakeholders. How many celebrities will I go lock up for speaking out loud? Now you are going to look at everybody. They you are going to somewhere. Everybody go to mind his business. No, no, if you talk, they go come and arrest me now. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. Now you employ those people waiting for National Assembly. You are the one who employed the government, the, the president, the governor. You, you, you where they watch me now. You are the stake, you are also a stakeholder. When I get mad, we get mad. Now so it be all over the world. Sometimes I go to cry when I see how things they work abroad. How things how they how they organize things it's not a rocket science how do we get back these people where will they copy and paste how do we be like them if it as we be so they, they call us third world country they like it like that the more you suffer the more money the west make the more you suffer the more money united kingdom make oh you're waiting for united kingdom to tell you okay give biafra united kingdom they go open their mouth and tell you go and give biafra their state because the more you suffer, the more United Kingdom is making money. The more all of them are making money. The embassy. Show me anywhere where they make money like Africa in, uh, uh, abroad. Some of them don't even have embassy at any other country. Where we say a visa free. No, they just get represented. If you want some people, there are a few people who are there. They, now from your money, the money where they make from your country. Now they take pay them salary. Some of us where they are abroad. So, uh, uh, you want people, they, they take care of their old people. Oh. You see how they, they take care of them? Now money where they, they take from us, they, they take, take care of them. When I know here... Uh, British, uh, I think last December, when did they talk about visa restriction? We are not here watching the talk. He said the money we make from them, we use it to take care of our our people. So this one, this one, we increase this, they increase that, they don't increase everything. <laughs> you see people where they fight for food, say, oh, get out of here, see that Simon, and that's it. And you see what in the, the, the television they talk. My brother, you see those people who sit for television, they talk against Simon Epa. They know the truth. They, they just live in fear. They, they are naive. Nobody wants to say anything. You say anything, they arrest you. That is where we, that is the reason why we need revolution. We need to sit down together. If they get sense, those where they sit for TV, they talk. They know who they talk the way they talk. Then they suppose they encourage the government that we need negotiation. When I don't see them talk anything about uh, Mazinam Dikanu uh, court case. Mazinam Dikanu has been there for almost three years now. But Nigerian government no see anything to hold him to prison.
they are just parambulating, parambulating. But you will never see a Nigerian gagged media to come and say, ah, uh -uh. but he's been going to court. Why don't you, why don't you listen to the court order and release him? He's done nothing, release the man. And let us go to negotiate. They won't say that. You say they arrest you. <laughs> ah, Nigerians, come on, guys. Come on, let me explain something to you. I, I, arresting the people will solve the problem. If you are smart, as an African, we need to sit down together and talk. We are all stakeholders. All the Igbo people from the Southeast have rights. All the Yoruba people have rights. All everybody in Nigeria, every state, those where I know they mention in our state, I know they get them for head. When I know say they say we be Igbo outside Yoruba. We are more than that. Everybody is a stakeholder. Your son is a stakeholder. That picking where you just born, where they, where they your hand. That child is a stakeholder. You have rights in that country. If that picking the hungry, government is supposed to take us. Say you no get. You suppose get somewhere where you go carry that picking goes. Make government give your picking food. But do you have that right? No, you don't have it. But they, they collect the one where we not get. Go give their own for abroad. We not they wait for United Nations to come tell you and say give Biafra their state. <laughs> ah, we go we go find ourselves too. Now now waiting me I see we go find ourselves too. I beg Nigerian politicians. You see, for the national assembly. All of Una, all the assembly, assembly, all the institutions. As a rock, we could not tell ourselves the truth. You will never win those liberation army. There's nowhere in the world you can fight gorilla fighters. We could not go ask Israel how what they happen. Eh? Go and ask Israel what they happen. How many, how many, how many, you don't, you don't, you don't they reach almost one year now? How many months? Eight months or so? Gorilla, Almighty, Almighty Israel, Almighty Israel. <laughs> get out of here, man. Me, me and Israeli talk yesterday. Me and Israeli talk yesterday. Somebody will be Israel. So I sit on the table. We discuss. We're discussing. And he say, he say Solomon. You know, I thought that war would just end just that fast. Now, no thing I tell her. I say, listen, my friend. You guys are lucky that does, that thing will happen on October seven. Happen. The plan where these people get for now. Everywhere now, weapon now. If Israel not be, if Israel not strong for military, we not know what it be. Make you enter where everything day. Every everything day we bomb everything day inside ground. You need sophisticated technology. Ah, Israel will not try. Even though as we not try, reach, we not see the sweat. Israel still the sweat. They are still sweating. Omo, me are there for group Israel group. You see this group where they here. You see the group. Hane in your zoo in the army every day. In the matter now, almost every day. In my country, gorilla welfare. It's not easy. Good morning, brother. So come talk of now. We be now. We be third world countries. You fight somebody gorilla war inside inside bush. <laughs> inside bush. If I say them, they get bush for this country. Forget about them. They go to fight this war in another 10, 20 years. But because say they know say they don't get forest. Now that's underground where they build. And Israel could be able to detect. All over Gaza are underground now. Everywhere, you know, they see building like these people there underground. They don't think and say one day. Now here, when the war starts with Israel, we go destroy all of them. God just saved Israel, say that thing will happen on October 1st, happen. Waiting the plan where they get for them, not be here. So in this, I'm trying to let Nigeria understand that what was you see, soldiers cannot win these people. You can win them. You cannot stop supply. You can't stop supply. Why is there no stop supply for the Palestinian? How you know how, how you take no say they 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 whip the enter? <laughs> Fine, get out of here, you guys, man. <laughs> you guys listen. Listen. Nigerian soldiers, I understand. You, you are not expecting the Nigerian soldier to come and say, eh, they are winning us. No. Inside, they are crying. I'm waiting the vets me to say, Musa, children, they are abroad. They screw. They're, they're. Now, those poor children picking, we go join soldiers. May they take the same money, feed their family. Now, they push for front. After they don't give them buruku to drink, finish. Their hair will come the turn. Anybody where they see like IPOB, any IPOB, if you see any flag, if you see anything, anything where BB, if you speak Igbo, take him down. Now, them, they, they put for bag. Now, them, they, they put for bag. And these people are asking you, come inside the forest. Leave our children, leave our children alone. Wait there for streets. 
Yes, everybody inside we are bitter. Go and fight those way there for streets. Yoruba people know what they do together. Yoruba go there on their own. They go there to compete with us. Fulani and Ausa go there. They go there to compete with us. As they, they negotiate, people with this north east, north east. All those people will be says part, part of Igbo, part of whatever, part of north. We go negotiate. Which people go belong to Biafra? From which place to which way? This thing go they go on like like human beings. We go we go discuss like human beings. Not be pa 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 pa. Oh yeah, where the Biafran people? Eh, pa pa pa. Lord carry soldiers, go find those people where carry flag. Ah, na mistake we do. That mistake now they hunt una now. You people have lost a lot of soldiers, and we the Igbos we have lost a lot of Biafrans. Innocent one, the innocent one. Let's go to negotiation table. That's the most important. Let's stop using all this. Uh, Power now we did there now we did there. No, I beg. Oh, you people they laugh us now. We would wait for you both people to say, Oh, yeah, uh, United Nation. Uh, hey, hey, oh, yeah, you people must give referendum. No, show me any country in the world where United Nation now be the first. No, they, they wait, make my own self where where now what United Nation they wait for. They, they wait for the day where we say soldiers go enter southeast. When I go see people, the whole state, when I go see people lying down, all of them, they go say, ah, genocide. Now that, now, now what thing they want? Ah, they don't call me genocide. Nigerian soldier now, now they follow talk. They are waiting for the day. We will not go enter one of the states in Southeast. Begin the do the undo. Then they go call label on a genocide. It's not making sense. As soon as the same soldiers go Southeast, they do that undo. With the innocent people, make when I remember I say when I get children, those people where when I decline they throw away for water, <laughs> they bomb Pekino. I'm talking to Nigerian military. Those people that where when I decline anyhow they throw away say we know the Siam. Don't forget that their family get here, they get children. Their children are growing up, and your own children are growing up. What you are fighting for now will not stop. Their children is going to come and still fight for the what they ask what happened to their father. And the struggle continues. Since 1967, Biafra war has never ended. Let us go to the table and negotiate. Take the IPOB serious. We are crime free man. If anybody calls himself IPOB, it's not a crime. Indigenous people of Biafra. You don't we don't have to say it. Everybody is bitter. You go to Southeast and say, Oh, they are good Southeasterners. All of us, we are good Southeasterners. But we are afraid to talk. If you see, go into their bedroom and ask them questions. They are going to tell you they are bitter. They don't have to come to the street and begin to announce. Everybody is bitter. Not, not only the Easterners, the whole Nigerian are bitter. And our politicians are confused and back, outdated. They are all outdated politicians. Oh, by the way, I hear say they want to create another state in the uh, Southeast. Hey, I beg. Our politicians are begged for Southeast. Creating the state is not the solution. Creating the state cannot bring good roads or whatever we need right now. I beg, focus on Simon, Mazin Namdekanu, and the IPOBs. I want you to understand that they have created what is called government in exile. It's recognized. They have license to open all those branches called government in exile. If I want to call Simon Epa, some of those, as they talk and say, self acclaimed prime minister. Yes. That is a way to fight he created a government if they call and down for united nation i swear to god make a trial nigerian government make a trial make a go beg united nation to bring simon to united nation if you put every everything on the table they go tell you make give a referendum he has created a government oh no no say no say no get sense when i say that way great no be sense when you create that government they go ask simon say what do you have on ground where you the talk say you want a uh, biafra nation now, what's in they go ask them? First thing, where they go ask them for United Nations? You go bring and say, What is your law? Where's your law? You have a law that will guide you of Raja Nation. You should have it. Okay, this is my law. How do you plan to build infrastructure? How do you plan? Simon Epa must provide those things under his government in exile. If you go to United Nations, he could not provide those things. But all those times when Masin Nam the Kanu they cry, say, um, Biafra, Biafra, Biafra. Now, what in Masin Nam the Kanu suppose don't do now? Nice Simon Epa do now. Israel have it. They, they did it. 
when Israel proclaimed their nation, United Nations, I said, okay, what do you have? Let's see, from where, from which side, where's your map? Where's the map? Where's your map? They showed the map. Okay, what is, what is your constitution? Show us your constitution. Show us your law. How do you intend to do all this? They show everything. They say, okay, um, they call Palestinian people. So United Nations, I say, okay, Israel have drawn up their map. Now, they are in a nation. This is your license. They give like license to the Jewish people, Israeli, as state of Israel. They give a license to Palestinians. Okay, go and run your own government and a country. They refused. So then when they, when they cry, oh, give Palestinians their state, give their Palestinians their state. Now Palestinians cause their problem from the beginning. Now they, they run up and down for United Nations. Who get United Nations? Who get the world? Are they excellent? Thank you so much, my wonderful viewers, for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end. Like I said before, if you like what you see here, if you like what I do in this platform, as you have finished watching this video, please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. Share my videos, leave your comments in the comment section constructively. Until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.